So, uh, Rebecca. Yes. Any tunnels? Um, we might struggle with tunnels. We might struggle with tunnels today, okay. Welcome to, a, uh, welcome to another video. Mm. And as you may have already worked out by now, this is the Romney um, Hive and Dimchurch Railway. Built essentially by a um, eccentric millionaire, correct? Yes, two to start with. Two eccentric it, millionaires. But then one died in um, the Monza Grand Prix. Le Mans. Le Mans. Anyway, more on that to come. Welcome to another video from the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway. There's a lighthouse. The lighthouse had a toll for passing. The original lighthouse had a toll for um, passing ships that was a, was it a penny a ton? Did I just say a penny a ton? A penny a ton. Funnily enough, it. they had problems collecting it. <laughs> Genius. Stop your ship. <laughs> we want your penny. Chuck us your money. How does that work? No idea. So back in the late part of the summer, we took a trip to Kent for a little ride on the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway. We've been meaning to do this for quite a long time. Yep, that's right, just down here in the Garden of England. The original intention was to tick off a bunch of abandoned stations and chat about the history along the way. Not 100% sure, but we think those bungalows back there were part of the Pluto project. Yep. So the Pluto project was? Was the pumping um, the pipeline, pipeline under, under the, the ocean. ocean. Pluto. But the day got away from us and we just couldn't keep up with everything along the line. So instead we decided to just enjoy the day and hopefully you'll enjoy this little video too. Off the first time in four days, well a week, we find ourselves on a beach. Four days ago we were on the North Devon coast in Minehead mm -hmm. and now we're on the East Kent coast at uh, Romney. Romney, Romney, New Romney. Romney. No, Romney Sands. Romney Sands, sorry, okay. Mm. Romney Sands Hulk just up there. Sorry about the wind. Um, yeah, this is one of those crazy places, right, where I reckon that's 600 yards that way. At least. At least, to the sea, because the tide's gone out, right? I reckon it's one of those beaches where when the tide starts coming in, you can like only just keep up with it, because it's really, it just shoots across. Probably, yeah. Really fast, because it's so flat. Did it's time lapse. Didn't know really it worked. Okay, so we're waiting for the 105 to hive. Tasty ice cream. 105 to hive. And what we've got a lot to see. There's one more station, well there's St Mary's Holt, which is a request stop. There's Dim Church, we're not going out of Dim Church, we're going to head straight to Hive and see how we are for time. St Mary's Bay, by the way. St Mary's Bay, <laughs> so I know St Mary's Bay, I hope.
This was our very brief stop at Dimchurch. We didn't actually alight here as we weren't sure how much time we had. Onwards to the northern terminus of Hive. Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway. It's time for history lessons with Rebecca. No, it's not, because I'm not going to remember it. Okay. History of the line, Rebecca, in 30 seconds. <laughs> Go. Two millionaire racing drivers decided they fancied building a railway. One of them died before it even got even further than its concept. Um, how he wanted to basically build a railway. So he went to two different locations in the end and he didn't get either of them until, oh my god, what's his name? Greenlee. Greenlee proposed, proposed this coming here. Before it even finished. got finished or before it opened, he already put in for an extension because he wasn't happy with his like eight and a quarter mile railway. He wanted an extra five and a half miles railway. Down to Dungeness. Down to Dungeness. And that was okayed before the other one was opened. And then literally less than a month later, the extension was opened as well. Right, so this is Hive. Um, history lesson now by Rebecca. Hopefully you could hear it. Only part um, history lesson. Yeah. Rubbish, really. Sorry. We're going to um, head for a cup of tea. Um, just before we do, Pluto. So if it didn't come out on the... Um, what's the word in the <laughs> As the steam engine goes off of the turntable. Pluto was the pipeline under the ocean. Yep. Um, and it was part of the war effort, World War II war effort, where they had a pipeline going under the, under the ocean to get oil to, um, over to our troops on to the side, basically. Okay. Um, and they moved a lot of the pipe work from New Romney south down to Dungeness. And that just broke, the bulldozers broke a lot of the track up, didn't they? Yeah. Hence why it was never actually put back to a double track. No. Hence why from New Romney down to Dungeness it's single track. Um, because of Pluto. Yes. That was brilliant. That's a monster miniature railway. When I was a kid, right, used to go on a miniature railway, and it was like it was never enough. It was like round a little, you know, wherever you went, a little forest, a little, little forest, a little wood or whatever, and you just much. think, oh, I want more. I want to go again. I want to go again. Mm. This is like when you're an adult and you can have as much ice cream as you want, <laughs> or you have, you're an adult now, you can have as much cake as you want. But the only thing stopping you from having a cake is feeling guilty. This is like the version of me when I was a kid wanted to go more. That's ma that's like a big piece of cake right there. That's a big piece of ice cream, yeah? Big piece of ice cream yeah, cake. Isn't it? It's like I'm massive indulgence and you know, I can go on this miniature railway and it's like a two hour round trip, although we took all day because we stopped inside. Yep. But that's like the indulgence yeah, of the, um, the ice cream when you're a kid. But now you can have as much as you want. That was it. Does that make sense? I think so. Good, I hope so. <laughs> I feel sunburnt. It's been a beautiful day. This has been every issue station from the uh, Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway. Um, it's been really nice, isn't it? It's what been a lovely, lovely day. day. Yeah. Hopefully it brought to you a lot of disuse stations along the way. Um, it's been quite difficult to film all the disuse stations because we've been flying along the tracks at 30 miles an hour, or whatever speed yep. things go. We do go quite quickly. It does go quite quickly. Uh, but hopefully we'll bring you a quality production. As always, like, subscribe, um, leave a comment because it'd be great to hear from you. Where should we go next? What should we do next? Oh, sorry for the wind. Um, what would you like to see us do next? Where should we go? Um, and all of that. Right, goodbye. See you later. Thank you.
Any more to add, Rebecca? No, because you're just filming my boobs now. Come on. <laughs>